Okay, to get started, I just added a video clip to my timeline that I'd like to zoom into, and I'm up in the VFX tab. Now, let's begin by positioning the playhead to where you want to start zooming in, and press the I key on your keyboard to create an endpoint. Then move the playhead to where you want to zoom back out, and press the O key on your keyboard to create an out point. Next, go ahead and click this plus button up here, and make sure you're in the DVE tab. Drag the 2D DVE effect onto the section you marked to add it. Afterwards, you should see a DVE clip above your video. And since we no longer need them, I'll click this diamond button to remove the in and out points. All right, now make sure your playhead is positioned over the DVE clip so you can see its settings over here. Then under scale, simply drag the master slider to zoom into the center of your clip. To reposition the zoom away from the center, adjust the position's X and Y sliders until you get your zoom where you want it. Alright, now when I play this back, I have a zoom that jumps in and jumps out when I want it to. Next, I'm going to demonstrate how to animate your zoom instead of doing a jump zoom. But before we do that, I'm just going to click this settings cog and reset all the changes I made to the scale and position values. Now for the animated zoom, position the playhead at the start of your DVE clip. Then click the stopwatch toggle next to master to create a starting keyframe. And you'll also want to click the stopwatch toggles for the position's X and Y settings. As we animate this, keep in mind that you can see your keyframes down here as you add them. Alright, next move the playhead to where you want to be zoomed in by. Then adjust the scale and position slider to get your zoom how you like it. Now when we play this back, we have an animated zoom in. To zoom back out, move the playhead to where you want to start zooming out. Then click the plus button under keyframes to create a keyframe for the current zoomed in position and scale. Finally, move the playhead to the end of your DVE clip and change your X and Y values back to 0.5, which is their default value. You'll also want to change the scale's master back to one, which is its default value. Okay, now when I play this back, my video not only zooms in, but zooms out as well. Alright, and that's it for this tutorial, so thanks for watching, and see you next time.